Curtis. So what we need you to do is hang precariously off the edge of the table. Hi. <laughs> okay. Anyone who says that they would have foreseen, foreseen Brian and Jury on Twyatt, you're liars. Liars. Hey. Hey, hey people. <laughs> Justin, you're all kind of muscly. <laughs> 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 All right, we have Brian and we have Curtis. Hello, guys. <laughs> Nagy, I think my family actually invented type 2 diabetes. Hey, Padre. We could do the hamster dance. Brian, you should be on the other Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a momentous occasion. Which camera am I looking at? Uh, we're we're going to no, single cameras. on Father Robert. Yeah. I thought you would. It can, you just gotta be standing. Uh, here, you can scoot over in. Oh, no, they're gonna reset. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, we can. Can you swap jobs? Change places! Sorry, I was just watching Futurama. This is NSF yes. Twyatt. Exactly. <laughs> Not safe for this weekend. <laughs> Not safe for enterprise tech. There we go. Mainly because we just can't handle the server load. Uh, we really underbought the infrastructure on this one. Hello, Wayne Knight. Right now, Brian's standing one foot. Yeah. No, the Ad Dragon was not invited to Twilight. He would not make no, an appropriate guest. No, nor should he. No, sorry. Man, you're always hating on the Ad Dragon. I don't get uh, You know, listen. <laughs> He's a real. I've heard rumors about him. It's not appropriate. Troubling rumors. See, and you on his YouTube. What that he's that he's super. No, consistent, the same the same rumors that we heard that he about. Knows how to the same rumors you heard about you this weekend. That's not okay. what Let's I heard not about. Start that. Ah, that's what I heard we about the Ad Dragon. Yeah, see, this is we don't not need appropriate. That noise. This is bad news. I am evil. I have no problem being evil. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know why I can be evil? Because I'm forgiven, sucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> A priest and two clowns walk into a bar. Wait, wait, wait. Twyatt happens. I actually, I actually just got an email from uh, from the Go Game. They got an inquiry from someone in the uh, at Stanford that they want a Go Game, and their reference was Justin Young, Internet Stooge. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. I guess it's like a twit a twit person. Hey, you know what? Anyway, business comes, it comes. Oh yeah, no, it's great. They asked me this, if I wanted to do is, business cards that said Internet This Steve is truly John. wild. Oh, awesome. On my Skype screen, so I'm looking the Go at Game's Padre. all cool with uh, all your extracurriculars, right? Sure, I'm talking yeah. about the games and stuff. Yeah. Have they had any conversations about, like, you know, we need to, we need to represent the Go Game this way? Because if no. not, we could sick chat room on them. I like yes. it. No, I, they, are, they are fine with everything. Was this your idea to do this elevated set to get the background? Yeah. No, no. How do we work this bit logic thing? Uh, <laughs> what, what is it you need done? We want to, we got this quad box working, but we want to switch to this double box. Danger, danger. Danger, danger. Um, so we created this. Do we have any of that double box so yeah. that I can just tape this thing? This, these are not my regular ears. These are, these are crap no, We just created it, though. Maybe we created it in correct fashion. Uh, you know well, I need to tape this to the back of my head, otherwise these these ears will fall out. Oh wait, there it is. It just switched to NSFC show. Not oh, it did. Not okay. safe for the church. Uh, I like it. Wake up or I like it. Okay, I don't hear anything. Am I muted? I'm not getting it. Oh wait, okay, cool. there we go. Thank you. 
He is heated. Nope. Uh, okay. Slacker. Uh, it moved did, stuff. did he move? Yep. Where did he move to? He moved like from two blocks away to like two miles away. I, I had it. It was there for a second. Wait, who did? Who moved? Chad moved? Oh. Okay. What is he, a feral cat? Yeah. Bird, what are you doing to me? No touching. What? Is he like there for free? I should hope so. Yeah. Sorry, Chad. Realm. We've got technical difficulties. Huh. I'll be. Yeah, you're not there. Crafty okay, Chad. Talk now. Father Robert, oh. talk now. I know. That one. No. Oh, so Jason just did something. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what you guys were doing. I was doing other things. That your cha your mic was not live. One two one two one two one one two one two. Where's Shannon where now? Go go testing. Power Rangers. Shannon's not in her office Okay, anymore? now I'm hearing it. But now I'm over. I'm way overblown. Yeah. I'm way way blown. Red. One two three four. F uh, Curtis, are you on? Awesome. I'm here. Okay, I'm, I can't. Can Rated, you keep talking? Because I can't hear Curtis. Prize closet. Get moved to. This is Kurt talking. One two three. One two three. Okay. One two three four five six. Nice. Five, four, it's three. Good. Yeah. The, the other problem is that I'm, I'm using one. these uh, the earbuds, and these are horrible. There's something interesting going on in my view of you in Skype. You look like you should be a 3D movie, but I don't have the goggles. Uh, uh, a Padre glass? Mm. I, I need the red-blue lens Padre glasses. Ooh, that sounds horrible. Uh, can you say that again? I need the red-blue lens Padre goggles. All right, thank you, thank you. Sorry, we're trying to. Uh, we've got a weird setup this uh, this episode, which I love. We're doing things differently. We're going out of the box, which is my camera. That's my camera right there. Hey, how you doing? Uh, I know, but it always sounds better when I use it. Now, Justin and Brian are a real camera. This could be fun because there's two Brian's on this show. Uh, oh yeah, but they're only staying for the first. Uh, so, uh, do we have everyone up yet? Uh, Alan, you're watching, yes? Yeah. Okay, Alan. I see him in the chat room. Hey, Carson. Yeah. So what? Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this first segment on. Very good. We're gonna do the first segment on the uh, the four chan happenings. Then um, we're gonna go into the first ad. Then we're doing a hard stop, and Brian and Justin are okay, so Burke, going are on to their, of, their perfection, uh, and we will and be continuing okay. after yeah, resetting yeah, the stage for just a me. Wide shot up there as well, so I think we're good. Okay. Does that make sense? Sounds legit. It's legit, yo. Out of the box and into the Bible. Uh, you know, I try to stay away from the Bible, just because... <laughs> no, I mean, there's practical reasons. Makes two of us. <laughs> No, you're not going to win a Bible fight. No, no. one wins yeah, dude, a Bible fight. Well, plus, the, like, the Bible has the plus five modifier sword totally. of destiny. Yeah. And then it's like you get right at the end and you think you've like you've hit the critical hits, but then all of a sudden it just goes whoosh, wham. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I love fights when people just start quoting Bible verses to me and I just go, yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> like, is that is that one? Is that one in there? Is it? Uh, huh. Is that from the Gospel huh. of Steve? That's yeah, I think, I think yeah, that's Steve, right? I got it. Very lopsided. I don't know if it's because of the. TV. Ow. Okay. Pro tip. Pro tip. When you tape your headphones to the back of your head, make sure you do not tape your hair. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay, Burke. I just realized what I was doing wrong with the headphones. Um, I had them plugged in because they're the, the three connector, and I had them plugged in too far. Uh, and now the volume is so loud that it's literally blowing chunks out of my brain. <laughs> so, which is awesome. People are pointing out if we are going to talk about the Bible, let's keep it spoiler free. <laughs> <laughs> spoilers? No spoilers. I haven't read it yet. Wait, I want to know okay, what happens. Go back up. No. Spoilers. <laughs> okay. Yeah, go back up. Dang it. Ugh. Go back up. Now I'm not hearing anything. I hate these headphones. Hey, Padre, this is oh, Kurt. Wait. Can you hear me in your head? I, Kurt? Yes. 
I'm the voice. If you have a, any other earbuds, that'd be great. Because these things, I really hate these little white ones. But now I have to peel the tape. I've got hedge it good. Well, hello. Hello. Can I get some scissors? Or I could just... Yeah, I got your back. I can rock this. As Padre slashes his wrist with the oh, packaging wait. material. Wait, he's showing me the scam school way to do this. I got it. No. Yeah. This week on Scam School, we'll open up a plastic package. Can I get bigger scissors? <laughs> 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 oh, what? Okay, here. You, <laughs> can you show the crowd how to do that while sure. I rip these headphones off? Ow! Oh, good God. Take that. God. Yeah, that's... <laughs> and, uh, can I get a new cable now? <laughs> do you know what I love? Is that you start to see now that people are specifically advertising when a product doesn't come in a bubble wrap? Yeah. I don't. Yes, I don't the know what's Amazon going on. Easy Open packaging open is wonderful. Oh, push out the blade. Uh, don't you slice your fingers? Because that would be hilarious. It would kind of be funny. It would be funny for a while. But then we'd have to do paper, rock, scissors to see who takes it. Here we go, there. noobs. <laughs> Get these in your face. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Shove these in your holes. <laughs> Shove these in your holes and listen. You know who could have done this really well? Mm -hmm. The Ad Dragon. <laughs> Not better than Justin. There are things the Ad Dragon could do. I'll be the first to admit, there are things that the Ad Dragon could do better than Justin. I do not think opening that would be one. I don't think that the Ad Dragon can do much of anything better. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Could, well, we, could we have another guest wear these later on? Like with a black, it's like okay. there might be just that separation. And, uh, no, the Ad Dragon would have lost a finger. I'm not going to. It would be inappropate for me oh, during no. daytime twit hours to tell you where he'd lose that finger. Monitor, but not that I know of. I'm good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Actually, yeah, why not? In case I need to say something. I'm not going to cough, but I could. I love being able to mute my mic. Brian Brushwood, for your lower third URL, what would you like down there? Scamstuff.com. I hear it's an amazing. Book test, yeah, test pre-order book, book test pre-order. Not available now. Well, it is if you can find it. How about that? And Justin, what about you? Same? Uh, no, go ahead with just my Twitter. Uh, Justin R. Young. Cool. Thank you. Uh, two shot. Looking better. We're going to get um, something different in the TV. So that that kind of will look a little different here in a second. But the framing looks looks good to me. Oh, oh yeah. They're, they're on the floor now because I did that. And I'm a bad man. Okay. I can't hear anything out of this either. Something's up with this thing. Is it not plugged well, in? Did you check your TCP IP you know setting? <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to listen to the speakers. Like everyone else, like normal people. They go loud. Yeah. No, it's all good. It's all good. Chebert, I love the 8 bit Chebert. You know what? Maybe we just don't show Curtis and Chebert on the. Yeah, I was, and it would just cut could, to them we when. We could do that. Yeah. Oh sure, take uh, the good-looking guy that's off the monitor. <laughs> oh, this was just the whole time. <laughs> he cuts to us, asks this question. We're like, "Look at me, I'm Padre SJ. I host Twilight." <laughs> <laughs> we just totally troll you the whole time. You're like, no, seriously, I'd like to know. Like, I think to get with the <laughs> so, Brian, tell me exactly what did happen with 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Padre as Jay. I want to tell you about cables. <laughs> uh, see, normally by now, someone in the chat room would have put fired. Do you get anybody? Uh, who thinks your show is about like Star Trek? I uh, used to all the time. That's amazing. But I have since killed them <laughs> with kindness. They're no longer with us. No, not with kindness. No, with God's love. <laughs> That's right. By God's love, he means his sword. <laughs> he calls God's love. <laughs> it, the sword was on fire at the time, and according to the Bible, that's okay. Exactly. The red priest. Fire and brimstone. <laughs> the red priest, all up yes. in here. 
Bam. Could, I, could you still the, I think... Is that the head, headroom? Padre is Jake and the three of you go green screen driving again. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. NSFW pretty good. episode 150, Pagan Babies. All right, uh, Father Robert, I'm going to connect with the two second guests okay. just now just to make sure everything's looking good there. How many guests do you have on this show? No, I don't. <laughs> what is this, the UN? Well, because I set, I set my guests like a month or two in advance. So, Maybe. all right, so we have... Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have Rob on the line? Yep. Hey, how's it going, Rob? Rob! Hey, how's it going, Father Robert? Can you turn up the speaker? Because I don't have my ears up. Uh, so, Rob, and uh, when you get Alan on, we'll discuss exactly what's going on. Because it's a little change from the doc, I know. It's going to be an ex fun and exciting show. Hey, you, you know me. I'm flexible. Absolutely. You know, you are one of the most chill-axed CEOs I've ever met. <laughs> it's uh, all the marijuana, probably. <laughs> Oh. Cause and effect, uh, baby. We I go, should, we, we I should probably mention at this point that we're live. Uh, that's fine. I'm just <laughs> okay. Yeah, like that's fine. Did I mention that I'm hot? That's, I don't see what the big deal is. What are you? Yeah, but did you see? Actually, that? Wait, <laughs> Rob, where, where do you live? Hey, it's it's legal in California, I think. Uh, Not quite. Kind of. <laughs> Practically. No, I mean, Ish. All you, all, all you have to have is a hangnail or something, and then you can get it, probably. <laughs> oh, all Rob, you need to have is a library card. I read that somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Rob, are you in Austin? Uh, no, I'm in Auburn, which uh, is uh, quite a bit smaller than Austin. But uh, it's a little town outside of Sacramento. I know Auburn. Yeah. War Eagle. <laughs> oh, God bless the man who knows the SEC. There we go. Wait, who knows the what? That's a fun the joke SEC. for That's everybody. That's a sports ball <laughs> reference. It's a little college Those, those, of, those of us joke. Dial, dialing in from the swamp salute you. Death to the Big Ten. Let's see here. You know what? On the wide. Curtis, I would never be too stoned to care. I might be too stoned to... Start up to walk. <laughs> to walk. <laughs> to, to, I might be too. It's <laughs> 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 amazing. <laughs> this is how we do it. Who was that? All right, so I'm calling out. <laughs> of course, Jammer. Let's see here. Hey, you shine a laser pointer. I'm going to go after. Hey, man. Can't blame a cat for trying to get some kitty. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame a Padre as a chain for trying to touch a green laser light. Skype four says it can't can detect a webcam. Okay. Oh, this is oh, yeah. this is the log out thing. Gotcha. Wow, we're being delayed by a Skype issue. That has never happened before. So what we could do is start. Uh, Doing herky jerks, getting all having our faces get all pixelated while we're here. It's like, wait, wait, Brian, aren't you actually in the studio? I don't know. <laughs> I want a device that will let me do that Cylon voice. I'm just seeing my Twitter is just being overtaken by twit celebrities taking pictures with my bird. <laughs> <laughs> We are connected. Alan, are you there? Alan? I can hear you faintly. Hey, excellent. We can hear you now, too. All right. Alan, you look surprisingly out of focus. Kissable. What? Blurry. Who? Out of focus? Yeah. You look kind of, yeah, you look like you're zoomed in. Is he zoomed in at all? Yeah, it looks. Well, hold on. Here. Yeah, That's I think what I'm getting right now. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will be the one and only 14 guest edition <laughs> of Twilight. <laughs> okay, so now that all of the Zoom, guests are here, oh, so no, let me explain no, what's going to happen. Uh, Zoom me the out. first no, it's us. It's us. It looks like segment. If you there look at the doc, hey, look at that. Is just going to be uh, Curtis, Brian, Brian, Justin, and myself. We're going to be talking about the 4chan uh, shenanigans. We'll call them shenanigans. Should over we the say? All right, yeah. yeah. And then uh, we'll do the first ad. Then we're going to stop. We're going to reset for just me on the stage uh, and reset all the cameras properly and, and get all the visual aids of the IO, IO safe gear. 
then I will introduce Alan and Rob, and we'll go on with the rest of the show as, as scripted. Does that make sense? Yeah. Clear as mine. Okay. Uh, one one possible wrinkle, we may be adding about four more guests in segment three. <laughs> exactly. We're going to mic up Ayaz. I think Sarah's still running around. <laughs> Shannon's here. Ashley and, can get and, on. Uh, and Justin's bird. Yeah, we'll the doctor. We're going to mic up the doctor. That's right. Burke will be doing weather in front of a green screen. Traffic and weather together on the fives. <laughs> so I doubt this is an issue on the actual stream, but in the return video, it looks like a weird version of uh, 3D color. And like you're the second person to say that. On what? Um, oh. Oh, on yours? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks a little... It's like um, red and blue shifted weird yeah. stuff. Yeah, I thought maybe you had just been drinking on the weekend. No, like the, the return video from no, you the is video, the same. Right, the and Zombie <laughs> Jesus is going <laughs> to Skype in. <laughs> what? This thing, this thing back here. Hi, y'all. Zombie Jesus hey, here. Zombie Jesus here. That thing here. must look really wicked, like with the weird red, blue, whatever that's. I don't know what it's Here called. with expert commentary about disaster recovery, Ali Spags. Yes. Yeah. She's like, get drunk. <laughs> One, two, three, some, let's go. I need some 3D glasses. So Whoa. you you literally look like red and blue right now on your return video? To myself, well, they're yeah. they're switching it up right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. To change, yeah. All right. The thing is, Hopefully I don't look that way on the stream. Yeah, it doesn't matter because the camera I don't know. <laughs> dilly. <laughs> oh, dilly. 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 See what Speaking you're doing which, there. Hey, hey, uh, so, Schwood. Yes, yes. Dude, you only live an hour away. Wait, where do you live? San Antonio. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm even less than that because I'm way down south. I'm halfway out to Dripping Springs. Right. I could ride my bike down we to San Antonio to if I spent all day doing it. Maybe I will do, do that. At some point. The problem is, like, I go... I, can't, I go all the way out west past Dripping Springs and there's side roads, but then after that there's no shoulder... And I wouldn't be able to ride anymore. No. What part of San Antonio are you in? Right by SeaWorld. Uh, so that's like west like side? West, yeah, west-ish side. Yeah. So you would, uh, when you come to Austin, do you take 281 up? It depends on if I want to go 80 or not, <laughs> legally. Because you guys got that, whatever the heck that one is, right? Uh, the which one? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's, that's east of Austin, uh, 155, where it's like the speed limit is 85 miles an hour. Yep. Yeah. That's pretty pretty rad. It is but nice. Unfortunately, it's like you have to pay money, and then you get to speed fast the whole way, but it takes like 15 extra minutes to get out to that fast road. Yeah. So you gotta you got to know whether or not traffic's worth your while to do it. So, I mean, I can deal with the psychedelic color stuff as long as... I was, yeah, I was about to ask. See, our return video, the little preview that we get sending to you, looks normal. And we played around with some of the other... Oh, my! Wait, wait, wait. Uh-oh. Something's... Muting them for a second. We played around with some of the other ones to try and, like, kick it in gear for you. I have no idea why it's doing that. If no, you... it just it looks weird, but as long as... You're seeing yeah, we're seeing stuff, we're know. seeing everything at normal. If it's uh, possible for you to just kind of go with it, that would yeah, I'm fine. be fine. Does that work for you as well, Rob? Uh, yeah, that's fine. It it actually looks just fine on my side. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, and it was weird for you earlier, wasn't it? Didn't you mention that? No, it was Curtis that mentioned it. We have two. Yeah. Days, I guess. It, Is it still me, weird for like Curtis? Like I said, it it looks like the old fashioned 3D. Um, yeah. Only nobody remembered to give me any glasses. Okay. <laughs> And it's vertical instead of horizontal. It's like you'd have to tilt your head sideways. If, if I kind of do this, it looks yeah. fine. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we'll just go with it because I have absolutely no idea. We're right. probably going to get this ship rolling. <clears throat> well, we hope you enjoyed this week in Enterprise Tech. <laughs> <laughs> All downhill from here. Uh, All right. Make sure I'm recording here. Yeah, lower thirds. And it's just so this is my camera. Their single is over there. Let's and then we have the wire. Here. This is your single. Well, it's two it's shot. A, your double. Your doublet. Your double shot. Double. And we have the the wide that right now is is pretty tight, but once we open up to the second segment, we're gonna pull it back so that it gets the full monitor. Again. In. All right. So um, let's see here. Rob and Alan, hold the line here, and don't uh, go anywhere. <clears throat> and we'll be getting to you guys here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute you guys now. 
And Just remember to hit your yeah, spots that terminology. there <laughs> oh, no, for guests 14 and Whoa, 17. Whoa, what? Ah, touch screen. Ooh. That's pretty rad. We have different. Whoa! Things I just did something terrible. <laughs> yep. Excellent. All good. All good. All right. Cool. What? So, uh, what do you say we do this? Let's. I dance. say. I say that's good. Let's do that. <clears throat> All right. You got Let's kiss this hobo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that's what they say. It's an industry term. <clears throat> yeah. I'm so thankful. All right, everybody, stand by. Cost. Here we go. Psych. Oh, oh, no, that was a practice. You, you don't you don't get that. Twyatt on the set. You get one with Shh, actual Dwight. video. Twyatt. 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 Shh. Twyatt. Welcome to Twyatt This Week in Enterprise Tech. It's the show. Oh, stop, stop, oh, stop. Okay. Gosh, hey. Oh, come on. Get it together, bro. You blew it. You come on. I had you set up on a different mic and oh, then you switch spots. Got it. Spots, got right? it. So, right, right, right. One. Which one is yours? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Okay. All right. Yep. Here we go. All right, everybody. Twice. Take your places. Twice. Places, everyone. Twice. Remember the script, all right? Welcome to Twyatt. This week in Enterprise Tech, it's the show dedicated to the enterprise professional, the IT pro, and the geek who just wants to know what's going on in the world. I'm your host, Father Robert Ballasair, the digital Jesuit, your guide to all things in the enterprise, and I've got an absolutely stellar panel for you today, starting with, of course, the geek in paradise, Mr. Brian Chi. Brian, how are you doing? I'm doing great. In fact, I just got shanghaied into helping to plan a mini maker fair in Honolulu. Mini Maker Fair in Honolulu. There's nothing in that sentence that doesn't make me absolutely excited. Uh, are you going to get us more details about that, or do we just have to wait? Uh, you're just going to have to wait a little bit, but I am going to try and make it to the Bay Area Fair this year. Nice, nice. Maybe we'll have a Maker Twyatt. I'm sure we can't have more guests than we have on today. Uh, also joining us is Mr. Curtis Franklin from Enterprise Efficiency. Curtis, how are things going on in Florida? Florida is wonderful, if a little bit cool today, but uh, hey, it's a great day to be inside and talking to everyone on Twyatt. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, speaking of everyone on Twyatt, we've got some special guests. Now, if you've been watching the Twit Network, you probably know them. You love them. You've seen them, and uh, they're hilarious, but you may not know that they have also got an incredible acumen for the business world. I'm standing next to Mr. Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Uh, gentlemen, introduce yourself. Dude, I, I thought you were saying we had acumen, and I was like, well, clearly that's not us. <laughs> I, when I was a teenager, I was on acumen uh, to clear up my acne, and uh, it worked really well. It's good. It's, I like you that. can't have babies now. No, 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 no. No, no evil, that's evil. right out. <laughs> well, he's doing the world a favor. But no, no, no. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the reason why you're on the show, and that is, well, over the weekend, you got into a well, a little kerfuffle, a little roll in the hay. Yeah, I see. Got, got, <laughs> okay. Roll in the hay. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's How probably, whimsical. <laughs> wow. And, and all these words coming from the Catholic priest. Uh, the uh, it, uh, You can't call it a kerfuffle because it's a one-sided affair. We uh, came in a day early. I was in the Bay Area to uh, attend a wedding, and Just Robert Young and I were recording uh, Night Attack 2, uh, mm -hmm. The next comedy album, it's the, the Chinese democracy of our comedy albums. Yes. And uh, we go up, it just is like, hey man, you should check out the, the roof. It's really awesome. We go up there, and then my Twitter is just exploding. First, with uh, somebody saying, hey, is what they're saying about you true? From a random person, I was like, "What? What are they saying?" Well, and then I somebody, mean, then I have spiky hair. I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he answered blindly, "Absolutely, <laughs> everything you read about me is true." And then somebody says, uh, "Dude, four chan to check on you," and I was like, "What?" And I click on the latest Scam School episode, and there is just a flood, a nonstop flood of comments coming in, accusing me of of pet, being a pedophile, horrible, horrible saying things. that saying that I got yeah. that I got right. arrested. That you know, and then and then you could see some of the fans, the, the confused response, and it was so like it uh, was it was as if you know there was a popular celebrity and news broke, and now all of a sudden that's the only thing like the the commentary on the news story is the only thing that's on these videos. Yeah, well, and so the first question is like why you know, and uh, so we. Uh, luckily, some of the fans of, of what you know we call them chat realm fans of the NSFW show uh, did a little poking around, and sure enough, they forward over to me the board where uh, there's a there's a subboard of 4chan where I believe the first two rules are you don't mention the subboard, so maybe we shouldn't say 
who the sub board is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't mention the board yes. that has that goes by one letter. Yes, whatever that lever let better is. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we we shouldn't mention it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, anyway, Beck, no, uh, they, they we got totally bucked by this whole thing. <laughs> we you went there. Oh. <laughs> so they uh, apparently they have a, a practice of. Uh, just for for the lulls, right? Just for right. laughs, they'll pick uh, people will submit suggestions for somebody that they can essentially pedo bomb, like just random person. They roll the dice, and if that person wins, the lucky thing. And it, it, it's a raid, you know. It is it is a a forum raid. Uh, it's not just uh you know unique to four chan or to that board specifically. You know, it is something where if people want to kill time on a Saturday, it's a funny thing for them to do. It also happens to be very serious character assassination. <laughs> it's mighty right. collateral damage, bro. Yeah, Sorry. If, if 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 it goes, you know, a certain a certain way and and we tried to handle it as best we could, but I think, you know, the biggest lesson for anybody on an enterprise side who's dealing with this is just understanding what it is, where it's coming from and you know, if you react to it in the way that it is appropriate to you and your audience, uh, just don't mistake it to be anything else, right? You know. Well, and of course, uh, what's what's beautiful about this accusation, uh, if I say shuddering as I say it, is that uh, is that virtually there's no response that doesn't sound like a denial that gives plausibility. Like, what are you going to say? Like, but I love kids. Why would you yeah. call me that? A lot yeah. of people who watch me are kids. I have three daughters. <laughs> yes. Like, there's yeah, nothing I, that does it I have make to mention, it sound worse. Because yeah, there's, there's people in the chat room right now who are, who are wondering, well, where is this going? And, and what is this? The first thing we have to mention is that this, this wasn't 4chan being malicious. This is just what 4chan does, right? Well, this, this, is, this subgroup. Is, yeah, yes. This, right. the, yeah, Although they, it, is, they, they it, it is being malicious. Yeah. Like, yes. that, that's why it's funny. But the, the second thing has to be, and the, this is the reason why I asked you to come on Twyatt, is you have a very specific example of something that happens all the time in in the enterprise and that is your brand gets besmirched in your case you had people who not maliciously just again for the lulls decided yeah. that it would be fun it would be hilarious to throw a lot of stuff onto one of your YouTube videos and uh, Several. Well, ruin your reputation. Yeah, well, and they, and they got as far as, you know, they edited the Wikipedia page and they, uh, they it, it was like an infection, like a like a, a wildfire that you could watch spreading from video to video to video. Uh, and, uh, you know, we were lucky in that we got a heads up early on. So we, you know, we recorded a video that the last thing, I mean, you know, I'm terrified of these guys. You know, we've watched yep. them utterly destroy people. Uh, and this is, I believe, I'm not smart enough to know, but this is the, the culture, if not the exact group, that, that Anonymous came out of, you know. And uh, so, you know, obviously there's a lot to be terrified of. But the puzzle was how do we tell my fans what's going on without looking like we're challenging them back and, and acknowledging it. So we, uh, you know, recorded a video within minutes that sort of that sort of uh, explained what it was it basically said uh, you know thank so it you took it as an honor yes. you know yes. that that like you had been selected uh you know by the board and the reason that they found it funny to character assassinate you was because you were a big enough person that it would be interesting right. you know right. because if they do it to a random person you know then it's like uh, you know, there's no consequence. Right. You know, they can just, uh, you know, shut down their account and that would be it. But th this is a learning moment because one does not pick a fight with 4chan. No. You, you don't. There's no, there's no reason to do it. You're absolutely not going to win. But you did a few things that were unique. Uh, the first thing is you got the, the Twit chat room, chat realm involved. And they didn't get into a shouting match. They, they basically just sort of matched 4chan in the absurdity. Well, that and that was not that was not. Us. Yeah, we didn't we right. didn't do anything. And that's 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 what's amazing about, uh, you know, if you have a hardcore dedicated group of fans and if they're tech savvy, Which I highly media, recommend getting yeah. if you're in enterprise tech, do yourself a favor. Just make an award winning comedy show yeah. with tens of thousands of fans who are passionate. And we'll just take care of you whether you try to or not. We and, recommend if you can do that, if you have the means, I highly recommend. And also, I mean, the other thing, and this is probably something that was really unknown to the, the people who raided the forum with, with the pedo bomb. Uh, but we on NSFW have done our own kinds of raids in the past. You we, know, we, we did a compliment bomb. Yeah, we, we did like, the opposite. So we like when we've when we've done it a couple of times. We found random newspaper articles 
and uh, hopefully at very small town newspapers and then just like bombed their comment section about how awesome of a writer they are and how much their writing has changed our lives. Yeah. Uh, and it's like a fun thing for us to just randomly like so have like, a yeah, pile we, I mean, of sunshine. We, we understand the, the appeal to, you know. And, and how it works. Yes. Like why it's funny, how it works, how to do it, how it is, how, how we view those things as effective and how, wh- like how and why we view them as not effective or not funny. Right. And, and that's kind of what we sought to do. Is I'll tell you what, man, there is, a, there is a desperate, terrifying, you know, couple of hours when it's like, you know, we, we, we put it out there. We're like, well, hopefully you'll find it funny. Hopefully my fans will understand, you know, that, uh, that, that this is the result of, of, of a prank, you know, for the lulls and so on. Uh, and then pretty soon there was some uh, – it, it started to feel relief when we started to get comments that, uh, that were still kind of trolly but sort of were like, well played, Brushwood. You rolled with it or whatever. <laughs> So, you know, hopefully we'll do nothing. My favorite was like, hey, you got a bunch of views. Uh, We tried to have some fun. I think it's a win-win all around. (laughs) (laughs) Well, okay, so let me me break it down for the people who don't run an award-winning comedy show. (laughs) Sure. A multiple award-winning, by the way. (laughs) Sure. I have to mention. Well, chat room. Yeah, chat room. Chat room. Chat room awards. They they, they they made their own rewards. rewards. But but let's say you're running a small business or even a large enterprise. Uh, the, The very first reaction I've seen most of the time has has been to either take down the video that is being attacked or take down the page that's being attacked to uh, lock comments or to do something to ignore what's going on. That's not really possible anymore, right? I mean, you can't ignore a 4chan bomb. It might be. I mean, you know, it really depends on what you have to do. Like, what is the relationship between you and your audience? You know, we have a very active, very engaged relationship with chat realm so they were doing stuff before we even thought to tell them you know a lot of times enterprise stuff you don't necessarily have that one-to-one communication with the people that would want to take time out out of their day on a saturday and help defend your honor uh so some you know i think the goal is just try to take the wind out of it in any way that you can if that is taking down the video then that's taking down the video but like it's it's you I I can't say that there's any blanket. Or I, in fact, I can say blanketly that there is no universal smart response. These guys are smarter than you. There's more of them, and they're uh, staying and up later. Exactly, they will be up when you go to sleep. <laughs> well, see, that, that's that's the quicksand. If you had gone into a one-on-one battle to to reply to these people or to take down their comments, you would have been there forever, and you you would have provoked them because that's what they were looking for, right? Uh, that was our thinking, but yeah. again, you know, that's... yeah. I mean, that's the thing. The one thing I can say is don't react like somebody is out to get you because that is the exact reaction well, that and they're makes so this savvy they're so savvy like like you'll notice them. like they, they, they'll come up with comments that appear to be other people commenting it where it's like uh, instead of saying this guy's a pederast or whatever mm-hmm. they'll say they'll say guys seriously stop talking about it the case is still pending right you need to you know it's like yeah. let's hear him out you know where it's like they, they, they no, they're I, really I noticed brilliant. That they're, they're re- they were really really good at it because they could have just had okay let's have a thousand people go on and say he's a pederast and yeah people would have realized it would have been bomb. so much noise but because you had all that gray area it kind of made people think. Well, maybe there's something to this. Maybe maybe I need to look it up. Yeah, no, it's uh, there's a number of articles. I think uh, uh, Wired has a couple of articles on them. If you you guys can find it, I, I think it's the kind of thing that I would at least educate yourself to the possibilities of what could happen, and then think of your own personal strategy. Inject yourself in the narrative and say, what would I do if all of a sudden I was the victim of a massive trolling attack? Right. To, to handle it from a PR perspective. Uh, I do want to bring in our, our two other expert guests here. Uh, Brian, I hope you're still there. Uh, this is sort of the nightmare scenario of an enterprise, right? Uh, you, you, you've spent all this money, millions and millions of dollars, to build up your <clears throat> brand. Maybe you're, you're doing an advertising campaign, and then it gets targeted. It gets attacked. Again, not maliciously, just for people who are looking for something fun to do. Uh, what would the typical enterprise response to be to something like this? Ah! <laughs> Curtis, would you like to add to that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it you know, it's interesting because we've seen a couple of things. One is I think that our guests have an absolutely brilliant and proper approach, and that is to positively manage your reputation rather than simply trying to ignore it. The problem, as they point out, is that they have a unique set of skills that let them do this. Most enterprises don't. Mm -hmm. 
most enterprises are going to have to fall back on the normal PR channels, things like press releases, letting the press know that this is going on. But I will say that this is one case where building your customers into a community is... Oh, totally saved the, the day. It, I mean, and it's the enterprise equivalent of building up this fan base. Because if you have people who not only buy your products and services, but actively like you, who build a, an enjoyment of your company and its products into who they are, then they are much likely, much more likely to organically defend you than are people who are simply used to giving you money. That's the hard part, although it's something that a lot of enterprises are working on today. It's tough, and frankly, I think that it's an opening for people like our guest to make giant piles of money um, <laughs> consulting to, uh, to enterprise on how to do this precise thing. Yes! I like We're this giant pile. Yes. The big tide of cash but is I, finally washed on the NSFW <laughs> boys. If, if there's a lesson for the for enterprise folks, I think also uh, it, it, it's it, – it, speaks to the idea that having a social media strategy, having a large uh, or encouraging people to follow you directly was a very important back channel because everybody who was conducting the raid, they were leaving the comments in the YouTube. Most of them didn't even know what my Twitter was or where to find it. But by me being able to retweet like, oh, apparently this is happening. Here's the board where where they're putting it together. Uh, you know, it, they were able to self-mobilize. You know, it's like, you know, I, I, there's literally nothing I personally could have done to stop this. And, it, and I mean, outside of, you know, the video that we recorded, but uh, I, I think if anything else is a preventative measure as an insurance strategy, it would make sense to uh, to convert your goodwill from fans into a way to have a personal connection with them. I mean, I would say this, though. You, know, you mentioned uh, that a enterprise company is going to have to rely on more traditional PR strategies, and I think that that's absolutely, absolutely the case. But you need to understand that if you put out a press release – that is going to make it worse. That is that is what right. they would. Yeah, that's that's they would claim that as a victory. Well, because, that's, that's what they feed on. I yeah. mean, they, they want that kind of response. They want you to get indignant. They want you to get upset. They want you to say, "No, we're going to win this. We're going to take you guys down." And and you're saying that that's not that's absolutely the wrong response to take. Right. Yeah. Correct. I mean, it's it's just it's it's hard. It, it's super complicated. And again, there's no right answer that you can say in general. But just you got to think of it like a fire that needs oxygen to survive if there is attention and if there is if there, if there are more eyeballs that now have a changed dynamic based on what these people have done they're going to keep doing it that's that's oxygen for this fire yeah the what you need to do is to try to dispel early you know or just take away the uh the the place that this thing is happening. you know and it could be as simple like uh you know for me the easiest way to to get my message out was to make a video right away that sort of you know rolled with it yeah. and said hey thanks we could really use the views uh not a big make a joke pen, right? about it yeah. and, then, and then to play off like right. the idea of like mm -hmm. yeah but, hey by the way did you solve the puzzle would we have like a little joke at the end right. so it's like and you can see all this if you go to the scam school uh youtube youtube.com slash scam school yeah. uh, Yes, exactly. YouTube.com slash scam school uh, has it still up there. But, you know, for an enterprise solution, it might be like the moment you know what's going on, you know, get word out to your fans because that's right. the only way. You know, these guys don't care. Uh, like everyone who's doing the raid knows that, that you didn't do whatever terrible thing they're saying. Uh, your customers need to know what 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 is happening or even on. you know maybe even what you suspect is happening, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think what we've learned is that you, you can't win against the trolls. But you can give them what they want, give them a couple of lulls, and then get them to move on. That's that's I mean, basically you can't what get them for. to move on. You could sit there and quietly <laughs> weep while you hope <laughs> they move on. They yeah. Move on. yeah, well, and like you know, there's you, at the end of the day, the good news is you're not that interesting. <laughs> if you make yourself not interesting, then there will be somebody more interesting or something more interesting that people who are going to raid you like are, are going to move on. You know, and it's like it's even happened to us with the compliment bomb. You yeah, know? like. There are times where it just doesn't work, you know, like either there's security on the comments or they lock know, down the thread. They get too many entries, you know, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And so it'll it'll cut off. And now it's not funny. You know, we can't see the result. You know, we don't know <clears throat> whether or not they're reading it, whether their dynamic has changed. And all of a sudden this article about women knitting in Georgia it has 400 comments about how awesome it is. You know, like we don't know, like whether that worked. 
And so therefore we just move on. Yeah. yeah. Gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for, for talking to us. You know, you, you bring a nice angle to it, and there's a lot of humor here, but again, this is actually a very serious situation in today's world of social media and the Internet. Uh, I think you handled it well, and, uh, you know, I want to give you a little time to talk about anything you've got going on right now, especially you, Brian, since I understand you're available on the talking circuit now, so if there was an enterprise out there that, say, <laughs> wanted to wanted him to perform some magic and actually, talk about great, defending your social reputation. You would be talking about my fabulous keynotes where I involve magic and a message of branding and managing your personal social media strategy. Why, it would be a wonderful opportunity to speak to your enterprise customers about that. <laughs> and, uh, Justin? Uh, well, I have a new consulting business, uh, <laughs> so you can please contact me at Justin R. Young on Twitter. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, NSFW show, that's where uh, me, me and Brian uh, do a comedy show here on the Twit Network. If you like um, silly things, we like to do silly things. Let's meet and be friends. And yeah. be silly. And gentlemen, you are some of the stars of the Twit TV Network. You're always reliable for a laugh and for uh, some nice thoughts every once in a while. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Well, you say the nicest thing. Thank you thing. very, very much, yeah. Robert. Padre. Well, you, you know what else is reliable? What? What? Well, if you're looking for something reliable in, say, I, I domain don't, hosting. I, I don't know what you're about to say, but can I tell you, you're, you're probably going to mention some domain company with super complicated checkouts, and there's a discount in there somewhere, but you got to find it in the checkbox and everything's big colors and it's just like a verbal assault on your eyes you just like I use rage like I just want a domain at a re reasonable price okay I'm done now <laughs> <laughs> no but no seriously you know I, I want to take a moment here to stop and talk about one of our sponsors you see we've got hover.com now you may not have heard about hover.com